Hello guys and welcome back to another video from my YouTube channel that is Vipin Sharma Biology Tutorials and today I am going to make the most requested topic till now that is the pedigree analysis and I am going to tell you some tricks to analyze a given pedigree so that you can easily analyze what kind of pedigree is given in the examination okay so we are going to emphasize on pedigree analysis today so what is pedigree analysis the, di the disease that is getting transferred from one generation to another generation to check it out by making a family tree okay or a family chart of various generations is known as pedigree analysis so firstly we have to emphasize on some kind of terms which are very important for example dominant so what do you mean by dominant if we will take example of p that is pisum sativum on which mendel has done all his experiments then we can note that for tallness factor TT is homozygous dominant homozygous because both of these genes are same and TT is heterozygous dominant because both of these genes are different and why these are known as dominant because the capital T is going to express itself even in the presence of another gene whether it is capital T or small t so this is going to be tall and this is also going to be tall because this particular factor is inferior in this case therefore we are calling it as a dominant trait and what are recessive traits this particular gene is going to express itself only in the presence of some same gene therefore this is known as recessive if capital T is present in place of small t then this will be dominant so only this one will be recessive so this is dominant and recessive now you have to note that what is autosome and what are allosome we know that there are 23 pair of chromosomes in human body in each cell there are 23 pair of chromosome out of which two are sex chromosome that is xx in case of female and xy in case of males so these two chromosomes are allosomes and rest 22 pairs or 44 chromosomes are the autosomes so we are going to use these particular terms that is autosomal disease so we have to note what is autosome here and what are the sex chromosomes allosomes or sex chromosomes okay these are xx in case of female and xy in case of male so in pedigree there are some symbols which are very important this particular symbol that is a square is used for male circle for female this particular symbol is for sex unspecified this is very rare symbol which we are not going to use because this is a very complicated symbol so this is sex unspecified this is affected affected male because this is a square so this is a male this is the symbol of mating single line means mating between a male and a female double line means mating between relatives or a specific term is consigenous mating so the double line is the symbol of consigenous mating or the mating between relatives and this particular symbol simply means five unaffected individuals so if parents are mating and they have given birth to five unaffected individuals then they are symbolized like this so now there are some tips to analyze a particular pedigree so what are these tips so you have to emphasize on each and every line of these tips if male is affected in a particular disease and the disease is getting transferred to another male then it is a y linked disease why this is a y linked disease because the y chromosome is only present in male if the disease is getting passing uh, passing from male and male to male therefore it is a y linked disease now criss cross inheritance wherever you see criss cross inheritance in the case of pedigree the disease would be x linked recessive now what do you mean by criss cross inheritance criss cross inheritance is a type of inheritance in which the disease goes from male to female and from female to male for example if someone's father is uh, grandfather is affected from a particular disease that disease will be getting transferred to his daughter and that particular daughter is passing that particular disease to her son 
सो द डिजीज इज गोइंग लाइक दिस मेल फीमेल मेल और इट मे बी फ्रॉम फीमेल मेल एंड देन फीमेल दिस टाइप ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस बिटवीन द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सेक्सेज इज नोन एज द क्रिस क्रॉस टाइप ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस एंड वेयर एवर यू सी दिस काइंड ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस दैट इज क्रिस क्रॉस इनहेरिटेंस यू कैन ईजिली नोट दैट दैट पर्टिकुलर पेडिग्री इज गोइंग टू बी एक्स लिंक्ड रिसेसिव काइंड ऑफ पेडिग्री एक्स लिंक्ड रिसेसिव नोट दैट If it is going from male to male, then it is y-linked, and if it if it is going from male to female and then to male, then it is x-linked recessive disease. The next trick is this particular thing. If both the parents are unaffected, but the children are getting affected from a particular disease, that simply means that the female is carrier in this particular case, which is transferring that particular gene which is causing the disease to the next generation. this is a recessive trait this is the trick for a recessive trait okay and after that the last and the most important one is if female becomes affected when trait passes from one parent only if one parent is affected and it affects a child which is a female if the gene for a particular disease goes from only one parent and it is affecting a female child then the trait will be dominant it can be autosomal dominant or sex linked dominant that's not a matter of issue but that particular thing is going to be dominant okay so let's revise once more after that we are going to do some examples related to pedigree analysis from previous year questions as well as from ncert so if the disease is passing from male to male then it is y linked because y chromosome is only present in the case of males if the disease is passing in criss cross manner or doing criss cross inheritance then that particular disease is going to be x linked recessive what is criss cross inheritance from male to female to male or to female then male then female okay to alternate alternate kind of sexes after that if a particular children is getting affected with a disease having unaffected parents then the female parent is going to be carrier since male has xy and female has xx so it can be carrier in this particular situation it is not diseased it is not affected but if that particular c comes to this place then it will become affected so this cannot be a carrier so it's very sure and obvious that female is going to be carrier in case when the male is getting affected having unaffected parents and this particular kind of pedigree is having a recessive trait so this pedigree is going to be recessive after that the last one is if female becomes affected if female is affected having only one affected parent then that particular trait is going to be dominant it can be autosomal dominant or it can be sex linked dominant so now let us look at some kind of examples in this particular pedigree you can note that these are parents in which one parent is affected in progenies there are three children from which one is affected and when this affected daughter is mating it produces an affected son so male to female to male this is showing criss cross inheritance it simply means that this is x linked recessive kind of a disease in this particular example the trait the disease is affecting male and when this male is mating then this produces another affected male it simply means that the disease is going from male to male which simply means that this is y linked disorder without any confusion Now let us take a look at some examples that are given in NCERT and some other examples from previous year question papers. Okay, so this is another example in which the male is affected and then the female is affected between the two. Now we have already known that if only one children is affected and that is female. and only one parent is affected it means that the gene is coming from only one parent and it is affecting the female child then the disease is going to be dominant and it can be autosomal dominant 
and can be sex link dominant this is our rule this is our trick which we have learned earlier in this lecture after that the next example is given in NCERT so this is very important from examination point of view you have to understand each and every perspective of this example okay so if we are talking about this particular pedigree then we have to take a hint from anywhere in this particular part the female is affected and after mating it produces four children in which two are affected and then that affected female mates to form an affected female since only one pay, uh, only one children is getting affected only one child is getting affected and that is female and the genes of that particular disease are coming from a female that is only from a single parent this is the rule which we have learned earlier that if the only affected child is female and if the genes of that particular disease are coming from a single parent then that particular disease is going to be dominant we have learned it just before in the previous example also okay so this is going to be dominant now what kind of dominant disease it is autosomal or sex linked so for now we have to look at this if it is a sex linked disease for example this is affected and it produces two affected children out of four if this is going to be a sex linked disease that is the chromosomes of a particular the genes of a particular disease are present on sex chromosomes then this kind of arrangement will not be possible okay so it simply means that these disease uh, sorry these genes which are causing a particular disease are present on autosomes not on sex chromosomes if you will make some crosses like this you will be able to understand that at what particular time we are going to observe this particular thing okay so you have to make different kind of crosses while taking different arrangements of these parents like this considering them affected or non affected okay so in this particular case if we'll talk about sex chromosomes then this particular arrangement is not going to come so this is an autosomal dominant disease and this is for myotonic diastrophy okay if you will practice different kind of questions then you are going to observe this particular thing you have to make different kind of crosses and if you are unable to solve this particular pedigree then you can comment down in the comment box and i will show you a particular trick to solve or to find the genotypes or phenotypes of this particular these parents as well as children okay so you can easily uh, ask me your doubts now the next example is autosomal recessive in this particular thing the disease is recessive since both the parents are unaffected but they are producing affected children it simply means that their genotype is not dominant because if they are these can only be affected in case when these are not affected if they are recessive if they are affected then they are having a dominant type of genotype and then they could be dominant but since they have a recessive type of genotype and they are affected so these are having recessive type of genes after that since this is recessive and what kind of recessive it is uh, this particular pedigree is sex linked or autosomal so we know from the trick that in sex linked recess recessive disorders there is criss cross inheritance but we have not seen criss cross inheritance in this particular pattern so this is not sex linked autosomal uh, sorry sex linked recessive this is autosomal recessive because this is not following the criss cross inheritance pattern which is only followed by sex linked recessive disease so if it is not sex linked recessive and we know that this is a particular recessive disease then it is finally the autosomal recessive disease because it is not sex linked recessive disease okay so you can solve different kind of pedigree analysis problem from the four rules 
the four very basic rules or tricks that we have learned in this particular lecture these four rules and you can solve different kind of pedigree using this so i think that this particular video is going to help you a lot in your examination guys thank you so much for watching this video and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe thank you so much again for watching this video